right, so I have another urge, and today is popsicle sticks. I want to make something with uh, popsicle sticks. <sighs> Started thinking about like creations out of popsicle sticks, and I haven't really seen any. Let's get something from Walmart and let's go. All right, I'm back. So let me just talk about what I got here. So I just got a bunch of craft sticks. Um, I didn't know there were so many kinds. I saw like all the different kinds at Walmart and I was just kind of overwhelmed because I didn't think there'd be this many. There's like the jumbo craft sticks, skinny sticks, uh, the normal ones, the little skinny ones right here. I just got really excited and I bought a bunch of uh, things I might need. But these look fine, honestly. I don't need the most premium grade wood out there. Yeah, and I'm not sure exactly. I have an idea of what I want, but um, that's all I have, an idea. So I'll check back t with you guys when I have something I can talk about. That's what I got so far. I'm just thinking about basically the shape and what it's going to look like. What's the shape going to look like? So far I'm thinking about pillars and like uh, symmetry, symmetry, so... Alright guys, update time. Um, so I didn't really have anything to cut them with at home, so I had to kind of get some stuff. Um, I bought some, just some scissors because I didn't really have any good pair of scissors at home. Surprisingly enough, I kind of scared that it didn't cut and I didn't want to come over here, all the way over here again. So um, I just bought these, they're pruning, uh, what are they, they're um, pruning shears, just some um, extra glue sticks. I think I already have a glue stick at home, so, but uh, I called my mom and she said they didn't really have any sticks for it, so. Alright guys, so this is what it's looking like so far, so I'm just playing around with them right now, um, I got my cutters here, I can cut the popsicle sticks real roll with these, I have the strings over there, my adhesives are to my left side and those are like the popsicle sticks. Here's some of my little doodles that I came up with, just me brainstorming you know. So I've decided that I kind of like this pattern right here, I drew it here. I saw it here and I kind of liked it. I drew it again over here and I decided I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of re recreate that with the popsicle sticks. I'm not entirely sure I was going to do it because obviously these have circles and these are straight. But we'll see what I can do. So. Mirrored, but I kind of did too many spirals. There's nothing left in there, so. Okay, update. So, um... I underestimated again how much glue I would actually need, so hopefully it's the last trip I make to Walmart, but I have to go to Walmart again and get uh, pretty much the rest of the glue I, glue I need. Um, I pretty much used that whole tub of crazy glue that you guys saw, so um, hopefully this is the last time I go to Walmart. Uh, uh, yeah, initially I bought this, uh, this little one right here. That 
didn't last at all after doing all of this with it. Try to look around at home for something I could use. And didn't take that long at all for me to use it all up. So on this, I haven't showed you guys this yet. This is what it's looking like right here. It kind of reminds me of a plastic sort of. I just kept stacking them on top of one another as you can see. It's pretty cool. So I kind of figured that I need a lot more glue than uh, just the small one ounce. I got uh, two kinds to see which ones I'd like. I got the Gorilla Glue and I got the Loctite. See, I have a feeling this is going to be better though, but I bought both kinds just to see which one I like better. So I'm going to start another one of these. I decided I really like it and I want to do the other, other next three like these. So I'm going to do three more of those. And uh, I kind of learned from the, my mistakes with that one, because that one, the base right here, I don't know if you can see, there's like little clumps of the super, of the hot glue. And uh, I don't really like that too much, so I'm, I, what I did here, I kind of, if you can see from a flat angle, I kind of overlap them, which is something that I didn't do with this. It, this, this, the whole base was just flat. This one I'm kind of overlapping, see, uh, I don't think it'll do much difference since you won't really be able to tell since uh, all the sticks are overlapping, so. Alright, so I ran into another problem. Uh, I ran out of glue again, but only this time it was hot glue. I did buy hot glue sticks the last time I went to Walmart, but they were the wrong kind. And I didn't think I'd need that much anyway for this project, but it turns out I do, so. Guess who's going back? to Walmart <laughs> so as far as those the my little uh my little tree metal pine trees at least that's what I'm calling them right now I have uh, eight of them so I have four of these big ones here and I have three of these little ones so I'm trying to make this symbol here well basically kind of something that re resembles that you know that's gonna be the shape of it more or less I kind of like it and um, I kind of want this whole thing to be like the background to hold everything to be a circle. And to do that, I took these jumbo popsicle sticks and I cut the tips off of them. And then now I'm gluing them all together. Pretty smooth. And I'm just gonna make a bigger board out of these and cut them. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna cut them because this glue is kind of thick and like annoying, right, but that's what I'm doing so far. And I ran out of the glue to use it, so I can't really do anything now. That's why where I am right now. Next time you see me, I'm probably gonna be working on this some more, but with some actual glue this time. Alright guys, update time. It's exactly what it looks like. It's a bunch of popsicle sticks glued together. So that's the front, let me show you the back. probably guess around what size this is based on what you're seeing here that's my this is my it's on my work table right now and you see all the glue you know I, the thing you're probably asking is why didn't I just use a regular slab of wood and that so I wouldn't have to waste time gluing so many popsicle sticks together you know what Th that's kind of like how this thing works is that I really don't know what like I'm doing for I, until I do it <laughs> uh, I bought a bunch of things I just act on I'm acting on impulse is what like this whole thing is I'm just acting on impulse and just uh, doing what I want to do at the moment and just seeing how that pans out now that always that doesn't always work out good but sometimes you know sometimes you, you don't you just don't know so and that's kind of like the fun of it I, um, and you know sometimes I like to challenge myself with things that uh, I'm able to do so and then what I did you probably can't see but I kind of drew out a circle because I want it to come out I want a circle from all this right so I'm probably gonna get either my brother or my dad to cut out that out for me um, it's just gonna be easier with power tool like a like a j jigsaw or like a dremel or something like that and, be and instead of me trying to like struggle while using these pliers and once I have the circle I'm just gonna play around with these things you know try to like fiddle around and then after I fiddle around those I 
pretty sure I'm gonna like start using the string so that's the plan right now let's check in with you guys when I have something I can work off of all right guys I'm back again here to give you another update so I finally decided to use the spray cans So that's what I've been using to uh, spray paint the things. They actually came out uh, came out a lot more dull than I expected, which isn't a bad thing at all. It just means that the gold that I plan to put on it will stand out much more. My head. You know, I'm just trying to do as much variance as I can so I don't get bored with anything. So that's my cat. Say hello, Gypsy. She didn't want to say hello, but I got a... A thousand pack of popsicle sticks or crab sticks, and I just went a ham really. I uh, just did as many variants as I could. I'll check back with you guys when I have them all set up and up in the desk again. So, all right, guys, I finished painting everything for today at least. This is what uh, the base looks like. I, I didn't show you guys when I cut it, I don't think. So, I basically added that nutmeg and espresso color to this along with a white primer and gold metallic spray paint so it was all spray paint but i added those two extra colors to it and uh yeah that's what it looks like so far i still wanted to keep some of the color of the original popsicle sticks i also have all the popsicle sticks here yeah kind of mixed them all up but i'm not sure if i did a regret or not but um they're all there so i have plenty enough for this project and for any projects in the future that i wish to use any popsicle sticks for so here's what it's looking like right now. I want to put more of the little uh, skinny popsicle sticks in with like into the mix with the kind of metallic background. I'm really liking how it's looking so far. I got all the scraps right here and I'm just trying to include that into the piece itself. That would go quite in there, up here. And then obviously I'm gonna do something with these strings right here but i'm not exactly sure what yet um i've been using this hot glue stick a lot this is the hot glue stick i've mainly been using it's just like a, a cheap i think it was like maybe two bucks at walmart so and it's been working fine it's, it's this high temp uh art tech so uh, that's what they look like same brand mini the full size is also right there as well and this is one I already have. I already had. But, uh, funny story. I got the wrong size, and then when I wanted to go get the right size, I just bought both the glue stick holders, and then I just bought this one. And this one's actually serving me really well, with this, since everything's kind of, a lot of the pieces are smaller. So. And with it, I actually bought, just bought a bunch of different kind of glue. I never actually, I've never used, like, some of these glues before. Like the Tacky Glue or the E6000. But, like, Adhesive. I haven't really used any of these for this project, but it's nice to have them. And I have all the other popsicle sticks just in a pile right here. They all have different textures, as you can see. Kind of use that raindrop effect. Some of them look like a gradient. Some of them just look like like this, you know. So they all kind of look different. Um. And I've just been getting them and like just honestly just playing around with them, cutting them up, gluing them together. I'm not sure if I'm going to color these things yet. These like small little Christmas trees. If you guys have been following me on Snapchat, you know about these. Um, I did ask my dad to cut this out. So it is a perfect circle. And um, I'm pretty sure he used like a big compass for it. So it is a perfect circle. Which you know, I didn't ask him to do it. I was I didn't really care. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this before. Here, let me try to get it in. What it is exactly, this was like an assignment. Um, there's a lot of detail in here and I just like, that's kind of like what I like to do in my pieces. Just add a lot of texture and kind of just like a lot of things to look at so that it becomes unified. But yeah, and then we had to do something like kind of like three-dimensional, which I actually really liked. I, I liked you know, burning the wood and, you know, cutting the wood. I asked my brother to cut the wood and stuff, but nailing... But those are nails. Like, nailing these, I love, like to do, and then I had to 
string and then I will string the thread this is like red thread string the red thread through the needles and then cutting this with the rubber I stuck all of these on stuck all of these on with rubber cement and I used a 3d tulip 3d paint for the black in there and it's just regular sharpie for this part you see here and then I would like wood fur in this part and then I sewed like red yarn through here and this is just cardboard and this is th these parts right here are just cardboard this is like bristol with like washed i had from another assignment this this was like really fun to do and i just kind of like i want to do something similar to it so that's it i don't think i posted this anywhere besides my snapchat but by the time this video is up it's gonna be on my instagram so and just so that you guys know i don't really like uh, all of the things i do to work on these i work on my spare time now it is the summer now but um, most of the time I'm working like 40 hour weeks you know I this is something that I do try to take priority in when I can but you know sometimes I just can't like I don't have time to work on it so whenever I do have time you know I spend like maybe like five six hours on it in one setting and then who knows who, when I can have the time to work on these things again but just so that you guys know that's kind of what's the deal here with these things process and what I'm doing with the way I hammered it in there because originally it was hollow um, I just put uh, glue in the middle there and then I put glue on the tip of that needle I uh, rolled the thread around the glue so that it stayed in place and now I'm kind of doing that progress and this is what it's looking like so far it's kind of a lot to look at, but um, and it's not, oh, it's not really done because the threads involved. Anything else I need to do here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. I mean, yep, this is what I made with all the stuff I had. So. You know, it, it, it's really a cool thing, um, you know, if you guys ever get bored or what have you, you can always do that just like by a <laughs> Do you use the recording? Yeah. We really should. <laughs> Damn, now they got the, 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 they got the homie in there. Uh, this is heavy. So Actually, turn around so that I can get your face. Mm -hmm. Relax that way. Okay. Like, turn your head. Perfect, much better. Okay. I hate you so much. <laughs> I fucking hate you so much. It's a water bottle! I hate you so, so much. So you don't go ahead and buy a water bottle every place that you go to. I hate you so much. I hate you so much for this. It's whatever. Alright, now, because there are multiple things. I'm, I'm gonna save this big one for last, I guess, because it's just fucking heavy. To you, honestly. I have two, so I just gave you one. Oh, nice, I guess. I'm not gonna use this probably. I'm gonna just sit somewhere and get like this. You don't wanna learn how to do it's, it's, it's gonna be like this. So we sit somewhere like this and just sit around. And um that's that's just, that's that, just that, wrapping. Yeah. That's just wrapping up. That's the person that I thought that I was worried that you'd be disappointed by, which you might the room with the bottle. Probably, like the, the, this. That's nope, wait, the there's two things in here. Yep. There's two items in are they picture frame? Yo, is there frames? We'll be making bugs. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. And um, then the pictures I sent you were from that character shape book. Which one? Um, like an anxiety of like traits of anxiety of children or stuff like that. A picture, the picture I here. sent like the other like the other day or yesterday. You probably have to read it when you read it. Is there an error or something? Cool. Cool. Yay! Give me some love. Give me some love. Give me some love. But yeah, that's what I got. Love that. Yeah. Alright, so upon further examination, I think I'm gonna go with the watercolors instead. They're so much more vibrant than the other one. Um, because I also did a test on just the jumbo one. It looks pretty good to me. I'll probably in interchange between these two, but. We'll see how that goes for now on. Okay, so I did the painting, but I used the first one right here, and I used it in combination with the ink gold. I don't want it to be like too gold centered. I don't want it to draw attention away from anything else, because I'm going to add a lot more, so 
Um, I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, these little spokes right here. And I'm going to put them on top like this. And then see where I go from there. My plan is some of the dress pins and then uh, kind of connect them with uh, the string. Okay, next update. So I finished gluing, painting all the, the little um, spikes right here. And I glued them all down. I think they, it looks pretty okay. Um, now what I'm doing, I'm taking the, the dress pins and I'm hammering them in. Got a hammer. Got a hammer right here. And I'm a hammer, like I said before, I'm, I got a hammer and I'm nailing them into the base. That's all it is right now and I'll check back with you guys. So I nailed in all the uh, dress pins and uh, I wasn't exactly too sure where to put them but I just stuck them where I thought would be good. So now I'm deciding what color thread I should use. Alrighty guys, so just so I can show you my whole process. I started from here, I put glue in the middle and then I put glue on the tip of that needle. I uh, swirled the thread around the glue so that it stayed in place. And now I'm kind of doing that to every other thread. By doing that, I found that it just helps secure like act that the thread actually stays. Because what happened with the other one, I, I didn't do that. And I didn't know if you could tell, but a lot of the thread was kind of seeped, like uh, drooping down, which uh, originally wasn't really supposed to happen. But I'm trying this now and I've decided on the burgundy thread. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to use all, yeah, all three threads and kind of just like weave them in together. So. We'll see how that goes. All right, so I've probably done about two or three hours of progress. Like I want there to be a lot more threads involved. So, but I have the red, well, bright red one here, the burgundy one right here, the brown one here, and then the yellow one over here. Instead of making putting glue on every other string, I just put every string just so that it can be more fastened. Every once in a while, a pin, a, a pin would come out and I would have to like re-hammer it in there. Yeah, um, the way I'm making this is much more different than the other one. Because the other one, if you were to kind of like bump anything, anything connected towards it would like unhinge too and it would get all loose. Um, with this, since they're all glued like individually, I don't, you don't, I don't really need to worry about that because like if one's part's loose, it'll just be that one part instead of the whole thing, so yeah. So, I finally finished it. Yep. This is what I made with all the stuff I had, so. No, it, it, it's really a cool thing. If you guys ever get bored or buy a bunch of like stuff that you wouldn't think couldn't like make anything or you know, just things that just odd oddities or, or whatever have you and then just make something with them. It doesn't need to be art or, or anything really. Just make, you know, just create, I don't know. It's something I like to do, so I just thought I'd share. It with you guys. This is definitely going to be on my Instagram and my Houdini art. So uh, it's probably already posted by the time this is up. So, yep. So, guys, that is me with this video. If you guys want to see more of my work, go ahead and check out my Deving art, my Instagram, my Snap. Uh, I do all of my work on there. I let you guys keep posted on my Snap uh, things that I don't mention in this vlog. So, if you want, go ahead and follow me there. And most of my work's on Instagram if you want to go see it. But then I also have a DVR if you want to follow that too. So I hope you guys have a wonderful morning, afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. And bye bye